I think the first thing is the community work. This community work structure really put things into context, I think. Because it's kind of voluntary based, um, you're not working for any kind of benefit. And, uh, and everybody has their own skills and everybody has their own specialties. So also interest. So when someone can convert their passion or interest to something which is um, beneficial to the whole community, I think that wholesomeness is naturally manifest. Um, because by this, this, this kind of sharing and free of any agenda, uh, you naturally open up the mind through this process of community work. Um, and a second, um, I think th this is also, uh, because this place is full of sincere people, so it only attracts sincere people. <laughs> so it's almost like if anybody, if anybody, you know, listening to, you know, description of the university and they have some interest, they shouldn't doubt themselves. They should, they should, I mean, believe that they definitely are resonating with this energy of being sincere. So, so when everybody come into here with a sincere mind, um, this total honesty and this total devotion to figure out how things work instead of like uh, judging, you know, uh, become a con make this place a, con a constant process of self reflection. And uh, I mean, there are, there are moments, you know, I can see maybe some people or even myself uh, got of afflictions coming up, but they always uh, um, reinvigorate and then uh, come back. And, uh, and also, other people give them the uh, flexibility to do it. Not like other places, if I made a mistake, you know, and that's it. <laughs> and, and then thirdly, um, I think the, the cultivation, the people here are serious cultivators. Um, even for people who have no background in cultivation, but this place gives you plenty of opportunities to pick up uh, cultivation methods that you have affinity with. And uh, also here, there's also no single uh, like doc, like way of practice people hold on to you know you can there are so many different kind of practices here um, and the Buddha hall and also the university give us this one week of uh, retreat and uh, it's called um, contemplative exercise um, where one can uh, just cast you know the theories aside and really dedicate to this almost a lab like experience um, from that and for example, this semester we actually invite uh, Theravada tradition monks to teach us how we can be more mindful of breath, body. So I think this um, actually is very representative of why people here are serious cultivators because they relate with they relate mind, body, spirit all together. You know, um, and breath. So breath, body, and mind. And uh, you cannot teach a body basically. If, you, if someone is really honest, they have to be honest with the body, with your breath. So for example, with Theravada monks, they ask us to contemplate and whether you're breathing long, breathing short, whether your body is really tranquilized. Um, so for anyone who is serious cultivating, these are the direct feedback they can pick up all the time. Um, so um, so for, any, for me coming here, like, I also pick that up. Um, no matter what text, even in classes, if I start to be arrogant, start to be self-righteous. <laughs> and I, because I have this habit of uh, observing my body, my body tense up. Oh, I'm not really, oh, danger. <laughs> I should let my self-righteousness go. So right at that moment, um, uh, just give me a direct feedback to uh, self-correct this course.